Hello and welcome to Medina. We are gearing up for a cracking long weekend in the west of Saudi Arabia. We've come to see two of the region's major attractions. And even though Saudi Arabia is constantly surprising me, I could not believe it when a few weeks ago I found out that it has volcanoes, not just one or two, but a whole volcano field. These volcanoes are black and white and they leave a stark contrast when viewed from above. So I cannot wait to see them. We have lucked out a little bit with our car choice. Uh, unfortunately at Medina Airport they didn't have any 4x4s left. So we've got a very low to the ground car. I don't know how it's going to fare when we get closer to the volcanoes. It is possible to climb the volcanoes to the rim, uh, but we're not exactly sure how close we'll be able to get in this car. Anyway, wish us luck. There's actually a glamping campsite on the rim of one of the volcanoes. So you can actually stay here overnight in a bit of a luxury wellness retreat style. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be doing that because we've got one day here and then as I promised, we have a second treat coming up on this weekend and that is a trip to Alula. And Alula is one of Saudi Arabia's incredible attractions. Uh, it's one of my favorite places to go and it will be my second time there. There's just so much to see and do there, uh, from arts and crafts to local geography, flying in a helicopter, uh, hot air ballooning, other adventure sports, and rocks that look strangely like animals. So we'll show you some of those things as well. But first, it's on to Kaba. This is the town that's 150 kilometers north of Medina. This is where the volcanoes are. Let's go check them out. We've just stopped on the side of the road now. We're getting really close to the K-Bar volcanoes. We can see them in the distance. There's a beautiful silhouette under the morning sun. It's January here in Saudi Arabia and it's quite cool this morning, which is a really pleasant change from the summer. The rocks here are pitch black and this is all the old volcanic lava. venturing down on this dirt road towards what looks to be a volcano and we've been given the green light of approval by a local Saudi so hopefully we don't get stuck but at least there's a few people around here and this is on the way to the Kibar volcano camp so if you do want to stay overnight this is where you'll be staying wow that is so sharp and super shiny about coming and staying on a volcano. This is a dormant volcano, so you don't have to worry. It's been thousands of years since this volcano last erupted, so we're hoping we're pretty safe. Let's find out. volcano and it's quite an uneven climb. You can literally see the lava patterns as it's rolled down the hill and solidified in the process. <laughs> Here we are at Al Kido Volcano in Kaba region, Saudi Arabia. And we are attempting to climb to the very top to the crater here. Apparently the views at the top are spectacular and you can see across the whole volcano field, including the white volcano that's very close by. If you do attempt to climb up this, the black volcano, which is the main one in the area, make sure you've got some good solid footwear on. I'm wearing a pair of fairly standard Reebok sneakers. Um, for me, I do a fair bit of hiking and climbing and they're fine, but I would probably recommend at the very least these or something with a bit of grip. The lava itself easily breaks off and you don't want to be in a situation where you're sliding down a volcano. Anyway, let's get going. Let's see what's at the top. I've been promised something amazing, so hopefully I can show you that. I think 
I've just found a lava chip. We almost went walking along this room because it looked easier than the other spots, but I'm pretty certain I would have put my foot right through it because it's hollow. If I do have any geologist friends watching, please let me know in the comments below if this is actually a lava chip. I thought that lava tube was big, but check this out. We found an entire cave, which is a bit disconcerting because we're just walking across this and at any minute <laughs> could fall through. How's the landscape for photography? Pretty good, pretty good. You need to be here for sunrise or sunset really, but uh, midday, it's still pretty amazing. We're getting pretty close to the top now and you can see this field of volcanoes. They're just everywhere. Some are small, some are big. Getting close to the final ascent now and finding a way through all of these broken bits of lava is getting to be a bit of a challenge. But where there's a will, there's a way. my camera away for the rest of this trip up because this surface is so uneven and just keeps slipping away beneath our feet so for safety I'll see you at the top it's been a complete scramble to get to the top and oh my word this place has taken my breath away <laughs> It's simply magnificent. safety signage or pathways to make things easier and the pathway to the top here is a bit of a challenge so just keep that in mind if you do decide to trek to the top there's not really any reception up here there'll be no one to help you just need to be really careful because it is such a sheer drop you do not want to get too close so be careful do it if you can be prepared and enjoy but just be aware of your surroundings and we're now trekking back down hopefully it won't take as long as it did to come up and we literally just slid down this pathway 